it's our view that uh, a ceasefire now would simply leave Hamas in place, able to regroup and repeat what it did on October 7th. And you don't have to take my word for it. Just a few days ago, a senior Hamas official said that it was their intent to do October 7th again and again and again. No nation, none of us, can accept that. No one would find that follow. Uh, and so it is important to reaffirm Israel's right to defend itself, indeed its obligation to do so, but it's also very important the way Israel does that. And that's what we've talked to the Israeli government about, uh, with taking every possible measure to protect human life, to prevent civilian casualties as well as to ensure that those who are in need have the assistance that they need. It is the international community's responsibility always to seek the cessation of hostilities, and not to, to promote the continuance of uh, violence, uh, military activity that has a very uh, dire impact on the well-being of the civilian population in a very restricted area, uh, and, uh, which has specific and special characteristics like that. The priority now is to ending this war, uh, to saving innocent lives, to preventing further destruction, to restoring hope, and to stopping the very dangerous dehumanization. All lives matter to all of us.